Hello EGX, now we are here with Stainless Games and I'm speaking to Sam. So Sam, what can you tell us about your game? Um, obviously what is it called? Sure, so it's called Stainless and what I can tell you about it is that you should definitely buy it. Uh, so we released on um, Apple Arcade three weeks ago. We launched on Steam this Wednesday, just gone. And essentially Shock Rods is, is basically a marriage between Rocket League and, and Unreal Tournament. It's a, a fast paced Twitch shooter uh, in a space where there hasn't been one for a little while. So Stainless Games are well known for making Carmageddon, which is a, a, a fairly well known car combat franchise. So we had all the expertise that we needed to create something like this, but we wanted to kind of separate ourselves and make something new and fresh and unique and that, that was more accessible to more people. So Shock Rods is kind of like a PG friendly version of blowing stuff up. Lovely. So I got to ask, what was the inspiration behind this? Like I know you said, like obviously you worked on Carmageddon and such, but what kind of inspired you to actually sit down and create this game? So funnily enough, wanting to have fun, if that makes sense. So, oh, so after, after an internal project finished at Stainless, we found ourselves playing games like Unreal Tournament during lunch breaks and stuff like that in our downtime. And uh, it just one day someone just kind of thought, well, well, why don't we, we know how to make car combat games. Why don't we merge these two together and see what we can come up with? So it's, it's nice to have come from a place where all we wanted to do was make a game that was fun. And before long, we realized, you know, hey, maybe we've got a recipe here for something that, that other people would enjoy. And uh, a good two and a half years later, this is where we are. Sounds great. So I'm going to assume this is multiplayer for it to be an arena shoot. It so uh, what sort of modes can they expect? Is it just going to be like a duke it out deathmatch or have you got some specialist modes in there as well? Sure. So at the moment, we've launched with, I believe, five game modes. We've got team deathmatch, capture the flag, watch me forget a whole bunch of them. Uh, we've got like a, a ball arena mode that's kind of a mix. Oh. mixture between uh, uh, basketball and football um, we've got a game mode called Golden Ram which is basically juggernaut you you hold on to a weapon for as long as you can and the longer you hold it the more points you get um, but we're aiming to release different game modes and more maps and stuff as we go so you've got a lot of post release plans in the pipeline yeah, already we do and all we can really hope for is that uh, you know a community forms around it and and that we have a foundation to keep building on because we we want to do a lot with it yeah that's good. So, what about the art style? What was the thought behind that? That's a really good question, actually. I mean, in terms of art style, what we were going for was um, because we've kind of separated ourselves from previous IPs and we wanted to start fresh. Um, we used uh, a graphic artist from outside the studio who's a big fan of previous things we've done before, a guy called Check Death, who came up with these incredible designs for these shock rod vehicles that are kind of futuristic with booster ports on them and stuff like that. And because our lead artist is an artist, you know, he likes photorealistic things, uh, and with the power of Unreal Engine being as good as it is, you can you can make some surprisingly good-looking stuff that works on some relatively low-end hardware. So you don't need to have a particularly stylized game anymore. Um, so it just kind of fell into place. We found a, a recipe that made it work. That's very good. So uh, you've said so you've said obviously about Apple Arcade, and you've already some Steam. What about anything else, like consoles, Nintendo, Sony? Do you have any plans for release for them? Or all, all I can say is that we would absolutely love to. It depends what the demand is like and how well the game does. But so, yeah, we'd love to. So we're still kind of like an early building off your recent release and seeing where you're going. Big time, big time, yeah, yeah. We're just kind of, you know, dipping our toe in the water a little bit. Um, Arcade gave us an opportunity to, to build on the game and optimize it as best we can. So we know that we can run it on some uh, you know, no offense, some low-end hardware. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't want to say it out loud, really, but it, it can run in a lot of ways on a lot of different platforms. So the potential is there, and we hope to realize it, yeah. That's great. So you've spoken a bit about you wanted to add more, but was there anything you've had to take out that you, like when you were starting out or maybe midway, you really wanted to keep, but perhaps just had to... Oh, totally, yeah. Game dev is so fluid anyway. The, the, the funniest thing about it really is just that you come up with ideas that seem great until you put them in the game and you play test it and you think, well, that was terrible, I don't know what I was thinking. So there have been things that have been cut for sure and there are bits of code lying in there that are just, you know, <coughs> cheeky comment that out, um, which may make a return in the future. But again, the amount of resources and the features that we put in kind of depend on, on how well it does and what the player base wants. All right, that's really good. Also, something I should have asked a bit earlier, is this actually your first, like I know you said you worked originally on the Karma Getting Games, but as your own company, is this your first production or have you done a bit of work From before? Stainless Games themselves. From Stainless Games by No, Stainless Games are industry veterans. They've been around for about 25 years now. I think they've just celebrated literally 25 years in the industry. So oh, they're one of the oldest indie game developers around. So they've, they've worked on um, the original Karma Getting series, obviously, and the predecessors to that, sorry, the successors to that. Yeah. 
Magic the Gathering, that kind of thing. So as a long time indie developing company, how do you think this uh, compares up to like say publishing companies that have been around for quite a while? Like what's unique to being this indie company for 25 years? Sure, there's no denying that it certainly helps if, if you are your own powerhouse and you have the resources to market a game and, and publish it the way that you would like to. So there are certain disadvantages to being indie, but at the same time, Stainless prides itself on having survived in the indie space for so long. It's quite uncommon for a publisher to, to be their own for so long. So sure, there have been ups and downs and good points and bad points, but Stainless Games have a lot of experience and they know what they're doing. So fortunately for us as well, uh, the industry is, is very heavily networked and we've made a lot of really good friends, especially with Green Man Gaming, who are taking care of the publishing for us now. So we have all the people that we need to support us and we've got some great relationships. So I wouldn't really say it's hindered us too much. Sure, can we compete with a $100 million campaign for Call of Duty? No. But what we can do is just make a really good game, balance it and make sure that it's fun to play. Well, that's great. Now, I'm just going to ask, do you have any social media channels or anything you'd like people to know about just to keep sure, up to date yeah, with your you game? Can, you can look for Shock Rods on Twitter and you can look for Stainless Games, the same. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they're all there. And of course, you can check out GMG Publishing, the same. Great. And so one final question I'd like to ask. If you could describe your game, like, you know, your original vision, all of it as it's reached this point in one sentence, what would it be? How would I describe the original vision for this game in no, one I sentence? Like the entire game from original vision to its current state as it is now, describe in one sentence. Your own little tagline. Oh, a, a tagline for Shock Rods. Fun personified trademark. That's mine now, don't take it. I'll sue your ass. <laughs> I won't. No, it's, uh, Shock Rods is, is balanced, easy fun, that's accessible to as many people as we could possibly make it. Well, that is great. So thank you so much for the thank interview. Thank you for having me. Yep. All right. Best of luck.